Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. A new week begins on Infinite Magic Raid and the Miracle Banner is gonna change. We are gonna have a new legendary hero at Kins. We are gonna have the kid of the hero tomorrow. So we are gonna talk about him tomorrow. We have the return of Indra. So it's maybe your chance to obtain the hero, at least one copy. And then you can uh, save some eyes to spend on him until he is exclusive 3. Hope that you also have Dianmu in your team and both of them are the best combo you can have in the game to defeat bosses they are amazing and then the three heroes for the weathering coast mainly magdi as well for the faction abyss the brotherhood and adeline for the sunset sages as well then we are gonna have harry potter i don't know anything about that epic hero this is a new one coming this friday so we are gonna have a deeper look tomorrow if we have the kid of the hero then we are gonna have the return of hardy this is not a great hero makin is part of the banner uh, still the best hero to start the game with and then we are gonna have a Moro another bad hero so now I'm time to give you some advice about the heroes we have in the banner basically you have that team with Dianmu and Indra with three limited heroes and even if you don't have limited heroes this is still gonna be a great team for the weathering coast the most powerful one you can build in fact let's have a look to that this is the real battle I'm gonna do my battle in auto I'm dying Diamond 3 and this is the score I can get with that team. This is really really strong, the strongest team we have today for the Wuthering Coast. Don't worry if you don't have the limited heroes, you have another team that is pretty functional for that specific content. You have Seth inside, you have Aether and Faction and if you are using that this is the kind of score you can get so this is still pretty good 4 billion damage almost depending on your account power you can expect to have between 2 billion and 3 billion 700 so this is still pretty good then you have Magdi in that team you can add Zora inside if you don't have Veronica or Nita and you are gonna have the same score at the end or maybe a bit more if you replace Veronica or Nita by Zora if you have the exclusive three on her so this is my poison team and this is the score i can get one billion damage magdi and zora are great for that team I still have to build Zora, she is exclusive too for now on my account, so in one exclusive I am gonna showcase her on my account. And then you have Adeline in that HP burning team, so you have a one mythic hero Nirid, you have Guhana to increase your speed and turn meta, and you have Mamelo, a hero from the elemental city, he is gonna apply some HP burn too on the boss and he's gonna take more HP burning damage. And also he is a great HP burner hero. You have Adeline and Anhijin, and this is the kind of score you can have with that team. Around 2 billion damage. If you have Lydia, Dianmu, Indra and Ben Austin, that team is gonna be insane for the Endless Cloister. You are gonna be able to beat the majority of bosses in auto using that team if you have a lot of speed on them and a high effect hit on your space to apply the speed down 40% on the boss. So basically, I am farming the difficulty 36 of the Endless Cloister with that team. I'm just running the fight in auto. I'm waiting a bit and after a few seconds, I can claim my reward. There we go. That's a legendary confused hit 10%. Who cares about confused hit? So then you have the Faction Abyss, of course, if you have uh, both Indra and Dianmu, you are going to destroy the entire Faction Abyss with only these two heroes. Uh, or maybe add a third one to, to add some heals to your heroes. But if you check, you can clear the content with that only, so this is pretty strong. Look at that, only two heroes. This is the stage 30 of the Faction Abyss, and it's super easy if you have both Dianmu and Indra. If you check the Brotherhood Faction, you can find some Magdis in some teams. He's gonna provide a big shield on your heroes, deal some poison damage to enemies and so lower also their damage and apply a consolidation 2 on your heroes so this is a great support for that faction. Zora is gonna help you to deal some extra damage but clearly she is not a good hero to clear the stage 30 of the faction abyss. The only way is to use burner heroes. 
So forget about Zora in that content. And finally, Adeline is amazing for that content, especially if you have Mamelo as well. So you are going to be able to clear that content using these heroes. Both Adeline and Mamelo with Nita to deal more damage on waves and lower the damage of enemies thanks to the layers of poisons. And Guhana to increase your turn meta, heal your heroes and increase your attack. So we have the return of the Voyage event, but we have no heroes inside, so just a chill on that event this is what I'm gonna do because I'm saving my diamonds I'm trying to go as much free to play as I can and uh, this is really important as a free to play to save a ton of diamonds especially if you want to summon for the limited heroes when you go in the market you can buy a ton of miracle runes so it's okay if you are missing one limited hero you can save for the next one and have for free one limited hero on two with exclusive three directly if you are planning your resources correctly we have a new event the return of the eggs so these are the rewards you can get with a wooden egg, you have 8% chance to drop a golden egg. With a golden egg, 8% to drop a diamond egg. And with a diamond egg, you have 21% chance to drop one of these four chests. And it would be great if I could get one of these because there are two heroes that I don't have inside but I don't want to spend so I'm probably not gonna be lucky enough to get one of them. So if you have to choose one hero, maybe the best one to take in there is Bofani if you already have this. If you have none of them, I don't know, but maybe Nark is better. But I have to try him, I don't know yet. So on the second chest, the blue one, of course you want to pick Ronai first for the for PvP and the Faction Abyss. And then Dakota and Aether is the less played unit in that chest. On the green one, you have Adeline, space, you already have a copy of space, so it doesn't matter to get more. Or maybe if you want to have more speed and a ton meta for PvP, if you still don't have the exclusive 3. Otherwise, I would recommend to pick Adeline first and then Zora. And then for the first mark heroes, you have Arista to take first, then Magdi, then Moloch. And finally, 16% chance to get the limited hero and stamp selection chest. You have all the limited heroes, but not Beatrix, and all the limited echoes, so it's up to you to decide the one you want. But generally, if you can get that chest, it's always better to pick the limited heroes first if you don't have exclusive 3 on every one of them, before taking the limited echoes. So you have 10 at the beginning, and you can buy 3 every day in the shop. So this is what I'm gonna do. And I am going to try my luck. So I'm going to open 10 directly. And let's pray to have a golden egg. This is great. You have some extra stuff inside. So even for free, this is still pretty good. Let's say that. I have three more wooden eggs. So let's open them. An echo. One million gold. And another golden egg. Nope. An XP potion. So let's open the golden egg and pray to have a diamond egg. And no, probably this is not a diamond egg, otherwise it would have been written there. So, it seems like I'm gonna go with that. You are gonna get the 30 during the week if you are buying the 3 daily in the resource store, and you are gonna get that chest. And in that chest, the best heroes to pick are at the left, so you have Nidrold if you don't have him, then Veronica, then Eosdin only for the Faction Abyss, and he can help as well in the Tower of Mark. Elsa are for PvP mainly, but you need the exclusive 3 to play her. We'll forget about that hero. Melot for the Weathering Coast only in your Poison team. Then Mutu, forget about him. Senna, forget. And same for the others, in fact. And then, of course, you are going to have some packs. You know what? I still have one voucher left, so I'm going to buy that one. You have some extra packs to buy some eggs. And today on app to eat you have 5% extra cashback if you are spending today. So if you want to spend, don't forget to use app to eat you are going to save a bit of money. So let's open the 5 I just bought and see what do I get. Another golden egg. This is pretty cool. 2 golden eggs on 14. Okay, 2 left. Yeah, it is spoiling you in fact. When you click there, during the animation, if you have a one more egg written there, that means you have the egg. And it's not the case there, so I'm not gonna have the golden egg. So if I click, if I have a diamond egg written there, it's not the case. What do I get? 
10 more echoes. Why not? So now let's have a look to my drops in the endless cloister. I got fed up about farming manually the stage at 36, so now I'm completing multi battles on the stage at 29 because let's be honest, the rewards are almost the same all the time. So this is what I got, and this is really terrible as always. And so if I open the chest in there, ta da! This is what I get week after week in that content on the mythic chest. This is just disgusting. All the time we have bad stuff and it's not encouraging us to continue playing the game. Okay, so we are gonna end the video on that. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have a nice day and see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>